Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for using the cool gradient to make a sweet flag. So let's get cracking. Friends, step one, of course, is to hit create new design. When it loads, let's put US flag. If you want to make a different flag, that is fine. So the first thing you do is bring out a brick. I want you to change this measurement to 100, so it's a long ways across. I want you to make this one 30, and then I want you to make it 5 millimeters thick. When you've got it like that, I want you to switch to the 5mm nudge. This is what makes the whole trick work. The 5mm nudge is super quick and super fast. Make sure you do that. Then when you do Control D and Control up arrow, it moves the exact distance to stack the next layer. This is how we're going to build our gradient. Now friends, I can grab those two layers and I can do Control D and Control up arrow twice, pop, pop and I've started my flag. If I don't touch anything else, it memorizes that, and I can just do Control D again and again and again until I have all my stripes. Now we need seven red stripes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then you can finally delete the last white stripe. Now we need to put a place for the blue part of the flag. Notice we go above the third white stripe. So I am going to select that first red stripe after the third, and then I'm going to grab all of those so I can see them. And then I just want to change this measurement to 50 and press Enter. And we want them aligned to the right, so that is perfect. I'm going to grab this little red piece down here and do Control D, use my arrow keys to nudge it back, and then I'm going to stretch it to the right height. I can just drag it up, and of course we need to make it blue. You can pick whichever blue you think is cool. At this point, you've got your gradient built. Let's select it all and hit group and then make sure we turn on multicolor so that stays together. Now the stars are gonna be a separate piece. I'm gonna hit my work plane, which is W, and I wanna put it right here. Find the yellow star. When you bring it out, we need to shrink it. So move back to your size one. Let's hold shift and we need to take it all the way down to size three type 3 up in that measurement, then use the arrow keys to nudge it to the top corner. So I'm just nudging it up there. And you can be more perfect than me. I'm just showing you the right amount. So first I'm making it white. Then I'm going to stretch it out. I'm going to tell you the number we want is 32. All right, friends, so this takes a little bit of practice. I'm going to do Control D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Control D, 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 D. There's six, that fits pretty decent. You may need to adjust yours to get it perfect. All right, friends, so I've got that first row turned to the side so it's easy to grab it. I'm gonna do Control D. And because my work plane is right here, I can just pull it down and I'm putting like one gap in between it. And then I'm gonna go to the middle so they're in between those and I'm gonna get rid of the last one. Now remember, I need five of these rows. So I'm just gonna select both of these, do Control D. And if I use that down arrow, because it's still on the work plane, I can get them to the next row. And then if I do Control D again and again, I can squeeze in all five rows. Now notice the bottom row is a row of four. We don't need it. So I'm just going to delete those one at a time. Delete, 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 delete. And I've got that lined up pretty darn sweet. I'm going to make that a group. 50 shapes. That's awesome. We can prove that we had the right number. And then I want it to line up with the rest of my project. So I'm going to hit a line. And I'm going to pick this as the boss and I want to use the middle. I'm going to put my work plane back down on the ground and I'm going to set these two pieces to the back. So I grabbed them both and I moved them. Friends, it's time to make our flag. We're going to do that with the scribble tool. When you set the scribble tool down, you just need to make some sort of flag. Try, squiggle. If you don't like it, hit clear and do it again. You can do this so quick and fast, later you can make it perfect, now you're just learning the technique. Now remember our block is size 100 by 65. We're going to take our little flag part, let's click on it, and we need to make it 100, and we're going to make it also 65 and press enter. So it's the same size as our block. We're going to make it a hole, and we're going to bring out a basic block. Now this block needs to be bigger than 100 by 65. So let's make it 110, and let's make it 70, and then we also need to make it 40 wide because our other parts were 30. We're gonna select the two of these. Note this one's a hole. Let's click a line and we wanna say middle. Let's look at it from the corner and we wanna say middle. 
and we want to group it. Give it a second to finish grouping, and then when you hit the word whole, you can see our flag on the inside of it. Now we need two of these, so do Control D and duplicate, and then click on your stars. Notice they were sticking out a little bit. You can zoom in if you need to and lock them. We don't want those to move for the next minute. Let's grab these two pieces and click align. I'm gonna click on the flag and say I want it to be middle and I want it to be middle. And if we hit group, we will have just cut out the US flag shape. Notice the stars are still there. Friends, watch this. Grab everything, click align, click the flag. Once again, we want middle and we want middle. And then for a moment, you need to hide this and we need to lock the flag. We don't want to cut it again, but now we want to click on the stars and we want to unlock them. Click show all so you can see everything and friends, group it. Just like that, you can now unlock your flag and you have made a pretty darn cool United States flag with gradients. How fun is that? Friends, I think you can use this strategy for a ton of cool things, making other flags. I don't know. Keep exploring. If you've got cool stuff, don't forget you can always reach out and share it with me by generating a link, copy that link, and then you can find me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options don't work for you, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons. Friends, down at the bottom there is a built-in messaging tool. If you click that button and fill in your information, you reach out to me almost instantly. Finally, friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this lesson. And of course, if you did, please hit that like button. Also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.